The last play of the day is going to be the US dollar against Japanese yen on the 15th of February 2011. Uh, we're looking at it on our CTC strategy template. Six time frames. I'll start with the daily. Okay, what do we see on this pair? Well, if you're looking at where it's trading at the moment now, above the high of a previous support and resistance level, you'll notice that it broke above two days prior. This is Friday. Then Monday, yesterday, we had a bit of inconsistency, uh, trading both below the previous range as well as the high, but ultimately closing in a spinning top formation. But the most important thing to remember here, it's, it's actually trading above this potential resistance level at the top here. And what we've seen this morning on European, uh, the Asian market and the European session open is the pair trading higher. Okay, so exactly what we wanted to see, especially if you're seeing a bounce to the upside. Now it's broken a previous resistance level. It's trading above both the two intermediate moving averages on a daily time frame. CTC has gone blue across the board here. With this pushing further to the upside, we should see the blue on either side appear soon. And as it stands now, if this is still to progress further, then the ultimate goal for this pair is looking pretty neat at the moment now. And we should be looking for tops around about the 84, uh, 30 or 40 mark. Okay, which will bring it just in time to roughly where the 200 period moving average is by that stage. Okay, so as it stands now, we should be looking for buying opportunities on an intraday time frame. And sure enough, if we look at, say, for example, the half an hour chart, you'll notice that <clears throat> for this pair here, we had a previous support at 83.15, which is just short of the 200 period moving average in this instance. But the one thing to, to notice is we're having the highs are slightly higher, okay, confirming that we're still having a push. The pair has broken through a previous resistance level on the intermediate time frame for this a trend line. It's trending above it, and now it's testing a previous high. We saw on the 11th on Friday, uh, just above the 83.60 mark, okay. So if this is to continue going to the upside, then obviously we want to break higher, close higher, and that will definitely confirm that we are trading higher than the previous high of two days ago, and the momentum is still with us in our favor to, to see further progression to the upside. Okay. Otherwise, what we could see is the pair failing to break above 83.65, and just surely making its way back down again to these intermediate trend line. Okay. So just factor that in when trading. You can see on our Four arm, we have all systems go across the board except we have a red arrow here, and we're trading just around about the highs of pre two previous days. Same on hourly chart, for example. You can see a pair re attempting the 83.65 mark, trading there, thereabouts. Needs to be trading above that to give us a clear indication of further upside movement, otherwise, we could just see a simple pause and retracement during the course of today. Ideally, overall, the trend is looking really good on a daily time frame. So we should be looking for nothing more than potential upside movements. Here on a five minute, for example, those of you who saw the consolidation when you woke up, you will notice that we had a breakout at six o'clock. Okay, so the Asian market high would have been just here after 12 o'clock last night. We had a break. We want to close higher than that. We did get it. That would have been your entry level for further upside movement. And you want to take a 20 pips from that. Okay. Now we're looking. That's a five minute chart, guys. So things are looking good for this pair. So only looking for buying opportunities to the upside for the slight chance of consolidation at the 83, 6500 mark as we speak now. Hey, guys, that's just. Uh, dollar against the Japanese yen. That's it for today. I hope you have a fantastic trading day. Just be aware there's a lot of news out today, so trade cautiously and take your pips when they present themselves. And last but foremost, trade serenely.